We're now going to add the road templates to our alignment string and we're just going to read in the alignment templates from our user library. To do this we go to File I.O. Come down to Templates, Templates Input. Select the folder icon, walk right on User Library and select Road Templates and Read. You can then finish on that panel. To view these templates we go to Design, Templates, Create Edit. You'll note that there is three different templates inside that file that we just read in. There's the full left, the full right and then a separate template called Rural Right. To have a look at any one of these templates just select it and then using the buttons down the bottom we can look at the fixed part of the template. At the bottom of the panel we have a diagram showing what the template looks like. So you can see we come from the center line out to the lip of the curb, through the curb and channel, then we have a footpath and it drops away into a drain. You'll note that our names all have the suffix L to represent the left hand side of the road and our colors have been mapped such that they will be mapped to textures when we do our visualization later on. You can close that and open up the cut and fill sections. Once again it's shown what they look like and their colors have been mapped. Fill is nothing and under the final cut and fill if it's in cut we just have a slope of 1.5 if it's in fill we have a slope of 1 in 2. If we were to view the full right template you would find that it was exactly the same except the suffix would be R instead of L. If we have a look at the rural right template under the fixed part of the template you'll note that there's no curb and channel it's just out to the edge of bitumen and then we have a shoulder. Under the cut part of the template there is nothing. Under the fill part of the template there is nothing. The reason there's nothing under cut and fill is because we will be using a decisional template which determines where we are, whether we're in cut, whether we're in fill and we'll add in the batters through this method. We can finish on this panel now. You may have noted that there was no template for the curb return so we're going to create a curb return template but as we always create the curb return on the left hand side of the road we'll simply copy the existing full left template and make some modifications to it. To do this we go to Design, Templates, Copy, select our old template as full left and give the new template a name of curb return. Click on Copy and then to edit this we could go back into the design menu or you can simply click on the icon and select Edit. We now want to edit the fixed part of the template and all we want to do is change the width of our lip of curve from 3.5 to 0. We can then click on draw to see the update down the bottom here and if we're happy with that it's just showing curve and channel and then our footpath and down into our drain we can click on OK to save it and close these panels down.